Liverpool. A fantastic team. One, the well, the favourite team for me. This is my club. This is the club I support. So, today, we're going to be doing a rebuild challenge with Liverpool on my own. So, if you guys don't know how the series works, because this is actually my first time doing the series. Um, so, you don't know how this works. I actually did... Did this with Theo, but it, we go against each other. It's only one season. This is until we complete the objectives. So the objective is to take your club to the Champions League glory, Liverpool. So take Liverpool to the Champions League glory. We have to win the Champions League. Um, all games are simulated in this Champions League. Um, jump in features cannot be used so i can't jump into the game or anything to help the champions league final however must be played and as um the person that taking inspiration off this jared hd would say do not get butt hurt if i sell your favorite player so let's get straight into the rebuild turning down the pre-season tournament we are in mr rebuild sheep signing as the liverpool manager We've got this. This is the starting eleven for Liverpool. Not much actually needs to be changed, to be honest. You know, like we've got some pretty good bat lines and everything. So we've got Allison, we've got Van Dijk, we've got Gomez, we've got Trent and Rob at the back. Not much to do there. I feel like with the better situation to do with this team is to replace uh, Firmino, so the striker, get another, you know, central midfielder, and maybe have a centre back. You know, whatever, whatever comes to mind. Because I don't really need to do much with this team. I just need to get all of the um, bad players. Or, well, not really bad, but players we don't really need for the club and everything. We're going to sign a few youth kind of players. We probably, I don't know how long it's going to take for us to actually win the Champions League or to get into the Champions League is what we need. So we should be in the Champions League to start this season, hopefully. Uh, so we will simulate... If, like We'll show all the simulation of the few of the games, sorry, but I'll just simulate probably most of it. <laughs> I'm by myself, you know, because I don't really want you guys, you know, getting bored of me just simulating. We need to keep the video as short as possible and as good as possible. So, yeah, um, see you in a bit. Starting off the transfer window with um, a, a departure, Joel Matip going to Leicester City for £35 million. Pounds. Not actually sure how you sell this guy's name, so I'm going to call him Kelsey or whatever. Uh, he is on loan to ASSE. I have no idea what that club is. We have decided to let Williams go on loan to Burnley for, I think, a year-long contract. So, yeah, he's going to be at Burnley for a year. Hopefully, he can come back decently good. Because, like, he probably won't be ahead of Trent, to be fair. So, we might try and sell him off to Burnley. So, since we have Sadio Mane up front, and also I've done this in the last rebuild, uh, not last rebuild, but just a video, uh, not a video, just a career I've done, um, we have decided to loan Jota out. Hopefully, he will come back as the 88 rate star he did in the last one. Mane will eventually grow old, so hopefully, he can replace him. Something I never thought I would be doing. We have signed Paul Pogba for Liverpool for £70 million. Hopefully the 27-year-old midfielder can bring glory to the Liverpool club. Welcome to our first game of the rebuild. Arsenal vs Liverpool in the FA Community Shield. Let's hope we can win. Let's go straight into this. We're going to gonna quick sim. Hopefully, hopefully we can win. We've lost them pens. Just like in real life, I think we lost them pens. No! Oh, we had so many. We had five chances. We should, we should. Oh, of course it was first Van Dyke. Well, sadly, we are not getting any silverware at the start of the season. We have lost mid shield. Let's, let's see if anything else can happen. We have accepted a bid from Wolves, £22 million for Shakiri. Hopefully, mate, you can bring glory to them, but you're probably not going to bring any glory to us. So we have sold the right mid to Wolves. Not going to lie, we're probably going to need to 
replace uh, Bobby Firmino. So we decided to sign Gabriel Jesus for £65 million from Manchester City. Hopefully the 23-year-old can bring us silverware and everything. Hopefully he'll be there for the final to win us. We said seal the deal. Which now has gone to Real Madrid, not Barcelona. Real Madrid for thirty-seven million pounds. And that's we send the last game until we reach Champions League. Oh well, that I'm going to show you. Let's hope. Let's hope we can win. Come on, boys. Come on. 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 We have won two. One. Well, see you all when we hit the Champions League. We have decided to sign Thiago Silva for Liverpool for £20 million from Chelsea. He's actually better than Joe Gomez by two ratings, so hopefully he can bring us some good things. We did actually win the last game, so I want to point that out. But, you know, we're not really going to be showing this anymore. But, basically, uh, we have signed Thiago Silva. Um, he is a bit ageing, though. So, we do have Joe Gomez as the young person. We might even need to loan Joe Gomez out if we really need to. But, Thiago Silva is 35 years of age old. So, we're probably not going to. Coming out with the departure from the club here, we have actually um, sold Naby Keita for 30 million pounds oh well 30.3 million pounds um to arsenal so hopefully he can do whatever he wants i mean we did actually just play arsenal i'm not going to tell you the results but we did just play arsenal so that's probably why they bought him to be fair because like a lot of players uh, a lot of clubs do that to be honest so well see what happens in the future a lot of business in a lot of business out we have signed three players and departs quite a few actually we have signed Pogba, Jesus and Silva to the club. In total of £155 million. We have sold like Matif Shkiri, which now them, then Chamberlain, Naby Keita, loads of people for a profit of £142 million. Let's see if we can win the Champions League with this squad. We are finally in to the Champions League. Let's hope we can win it. Let's do the first game of the Champions League uh, group stages against... I have no idea what this team is, so we're going to call them Midgetland. Midgetland! We have either won or lost. We have won two. Nil. Sadio Mane, man of the match, just like he was against Crystal Palace in the 2 0 win in the season. Well, in this season, but it depends when you're watching this 2020 to 2021. Not really anything too important, but Salah, Mohamed Salah, has got Player of the Year, so he's got the Ballon d'Or. Well done, Mohamed Salah. Great having you on our team. This is where it all went wrong last time. Virgil van Dijk has got an injury. We're going to need to sign a new centre-back. Starting off with a transfer for the January uh, transfer window, we have signed Matt Holmes as a replacement for Van Dijk whilst he's out for the next five months for £71.7 million. Pounds. OK, they didn't actually show all of this, but we have lost a few players. We've lost Henderson. And that's the only player I actually remember. I think we lost Kabak because um, he got recalled back. And we lost another player who I can't exactly remember. Let me go and check the notifications real quick. Lost Bobby Firmino, James Milner, some guy from Brighton. We, we lost quite a few people. So, but that's fine. We're going to go on a transfer frenzy because we have £151 million to spend here. Let's hope we can get some good players. Why not? Kareem Benzema in the club for £70 million from Real Madrid. We have sold Bobby Firmino. Hopefully the 33-year-old can actually do good. Yes, we do have Jesus as backup, but hopefully, you know, he eats better than Bobby Firmino. Hopefully he can come, score the goals, win the Champions League. Let's do this. We're actually running pretty low on reserves here, so we decided to sign 
Allen from Everton for fifty million pounds. He's probably going to be in the substitute bench, not the reserves. We could put like Jones in there or something. And we're also probably going to recall a bunch of people from loan because we're definitely going to need some. We are into the round of sixteen. We have drawn PSG on February the twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. Will we win? This. Is our squad? We have Benzema, Salah, Mane up front, Pogba, Thiago, Fabinho in the middle, Hummels, Gomez, Trent, Robbo, and Allison at the back. So I'm hoping for the final that we will have Virgil van Dijk for this. So you know we just need to get to the final. And God, this video takes so long. It's been like I did a little bit last night, and then I'm here now. It's God. So we have that's a good that's a good team. Oh God. Oh God. God, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, they got the away goal! Okay, okay, we're gonna we'll show you, show you the next. Just before I do show you the Champions League, though, we're in the final of the EFL Cup. Let's hope we can win. Bring back the first silverware of the career. 2-1. We have managed to get the EFL trophy. Well done, Liverpool, well done. Oh god, 1-1 one, one is the current score on aggregate. They have the away goal. We This is our away game. This is not good. We need to literally just score once. Can we do it? Is the real question. They've got Mbappe, they've got Di Maria, they've got Neymar, they've got Henderson, Verratti. Navas, Walker, Shaw, Boateng, this is a bug. This is not going to be good, but we have, we have to do this. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, we're through, we're going through. Why? Just why? See, there's a history between Liverpool and Bayern Munich. You know, we played them a lot in Champions League. They ruined us in like 2012 or something. I can't exactly remember the date. Uh, we ruined them recently. I think it was in 2018. And they also won the Champions League in this year. So we're hoping to completely annihilate them out of the Champions League. Hopefully we can come back with a win. Come on, boys! Come on, we we got this. We got this, right? We got this. We we got this. Wait, they got Ram, but Ramos actually downgrade. <laughs> yes, they do not have the way goal advantage. We do. This is perfect. See ya for the second leg. I just like to say something. So I do a lot of careers myself, you know, even before I did YouTube. And I never actually keep Joe Gomez. I feel like I can sign better centre-backs. So I usually actually sign, like, people like Ramos, Delit or something. And this is the first ever time I've actually kept Jomez, uh, G Jomez, Joe Gomez in the first ever season. And he's actually done pretty well, to be honest. He's almost caught up to Hummels. But we also have some good news. Um, Virgil van Dijk will be back in hopefully about seven six weeks six seven weeks time so he would definitely be fit for the final if we can get to the final in the first season we have come through with a one nil win again that means we're two nil on aggregate we are through I just like to say something. So I do a lot of careers myself, you know, even before I did YouTube. And I never actually keep Joe Gomez. I feel like I can sign better centre-backs. So I usually actually sign, like, people like Ramos, Delit or something. And this is the first ever time I've actually kept Jomez, uh, Jomez, Joe Gomez, in the first ever season. And he's actually done pretty well, to be honest. He's almost caught up to Hummels. But we also have some good news. Um, Virgil van Dijk will be back back in hopefully about seven six weeks six to seven weeks time so he would definitely be fit for the final if we can get to the final in the first season we have come through with a one nil win again that means we're two nil on aggregate we are through to i can't actually know i don't actually know what round we're on but we are through hold on it should tell us in a minute final scores bit of a situation report we are in the semi-finals of the champions league on april the 27th of 
2021. We're against Seville, a pretty decent, easily team, to be honest. So I'm not too worried about that. But what I am worried about is we can't play all that good play. Look at the stamina of them. Look at them. Ah, we've, got, we've still got an amazing front three. Okay, midfield, and only our like left back and right back are winning us this game. We got this. Come on, let's beat Rakitic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! 1-0! Oh, we're going Liverpool! I'm joking, we're not singing anything to do with that. But we are going to go, we're all in ya. I'm joking, we'll do that at the Champions League final. <laughs> if we can make it there. Well, we'll see you all for the next leg of the semi-final second leg of the Champions League semi-final against Seville we should have the away goal advantage or even if this if it's 1-1 we still go through anyway so we just need to win oh no we don't oh no no man I'm not sure oh my god come on 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 it is true we are in the Champions League final <sighs> Who are we going to go against? No matter what happens, it has still been a fantastic season. Salah winning the Ballon d'Or and Alisson getting goalkeeper of the month for the Premier League. Something that was really unexpected. Player of the tournament for the Premier League totally has been Timo Werner, you know. Obviously, he's not been doing very good in real life, but, you know, it's, it's different in a game and it's different on paper. Bar... Barcelona. We have drawn Barcelona in the final of the Champions League on the 29th of May. We will go head to head against FC Barcelona. Last time I do remember ever playing them was when we actually won the Champions League. We lost 3 0 but came back with a beautiful 4 3 win. Hopefully, we can do even better than that by not letting them score at all and bringing home the trophy. The Champions League final is today saturday may 29th of 2021 we go head to head against fc barcelona but first let's go and take just a, a trip from all the competitions let's show you our team and we're hopefully gonna bring home the trophy this is the team as i did say van dyke is back for the champions league final this is amazing. This is a very good team. I'm very happy with this. Great sidelines. Like, you know, 91, 92, 90, 88. Great, like, left and right on the outside. You know, going down the middle, we've got a pretty good. We've got 87, 89. By the sides, we've got 87, 86, 89, and 87. And with a 91 with the goalkeeper. The bench isn't looking as good as it probably could have, to be completely honest. But hopefully, we won't need to make any substitutes. With all in your heart and you never walk alone Cause Liverpool have won the Premier League 93 points, only one loss, that is, that's amazing 9 draws, 28 wins, perfect Um, Spurs actually crawling up behind us though so we will all be in the Champions League next season. So Liverpool, Spurs, Man City and Manchester United. Arsenal, however, eh, Europa League. So that is pretty good for them, to be honest. So I'll, I'll give them that. As you remember, at the start of the video, we did lose on Pens 5-4 in the FA Community Shield. Sadly, we won't be bringing on that trophy. But we will be bringing home the FA Cup 2-1 against Manchester City. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> bringing home the treble 2-1 against Southampton. I did actually show you this game as well. Wait, that that was perfect. We have got the treble. Can we get the quadruple? Man City couldn't this season. Maybe we can. I just thought I got knocked out at this competition. I do need to show you this, actually. So, we did actually lose 3-2 on the first game. And I just thought we were out. But we did come back with a 3-0 win. 
Napoli actually managing to come through with the win here. Perfect, you know, like, uh, I actually did check this uh, earlier. Leicester didn't even make it out of the group stages. Hopefully, Napoli, that you and me can both be the champions. It is time. Hopefully, we can win the Champions League. Live next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Jerry Gray. Here in the commentary box, as always, one of the We've been waiting for, let's kick off here. Alright, playing down the wing, gonna make sure Griezmann can't tackle here. Passing to Thiago, passing back to Fabinho, going straight up here, passing back to Thiago. What a one-two right there, not really too big of a one-two because, you know, like, I had the ball for a little bit before I didn't pass straight back. And how Salah managing to, not really skill on people, but just trying to get past them, dribbling past, making sure they can't tackle us. Passing to Kareem Benzema, passing to Thiago. To Thiago, through ball. Oh, they've managed to give the ball away. Stupid gameplay by their right. Oh, but what a tackle by Fabinho right there. Trying to skill past everyone. He goes. Oh, what, what a ball, what a ball, what a ball. Oh, can Thiago score? No, we cannot. He's rebounded straight back into him. What a perfect save by Stegen there. Muddling up my commentary here. This is very hard to commentate over. Now, corner taken quickly. Crying Benzema. Oh, what a perfect block away by Stegen. Hopefully, Liverpool can get the ball back straight again. Robbo with the ball passing straight back to Trent. Not back. I want to say back. Now, um, Griezmann, the the flop, <laughs> coming back. Anyhow, we got. Uh, it's letting us know that that Virgil Van Dijk is back from injury, which is really good. Hopefully, he can help us. You know, not concede anything. Hummels trying to keep up with Griezmann. Griezmann not d d d managing to do good, managing to get past Matt Hummels as he drags back. Oh, what a perfect tackle by Matt Hummels there, throwing for Barcelona. Barcelona got many options into the box. Pass it to Griezmann again. Fabinho with the ball. He, he's trying to pass it. Oh. What a perfect pass, managing to completely ruin their chances of the I mean, counter-attack. Yeah. Mino with the ball, passing to Kareem Benzema. Benzema. Kareem Benzema trying to make sure no one can get the ball here by anyone. Thiago with the ball. Pass it to Kareem Benzema. Kareem Benzema not through quite yet. Tried to pass into Pogba. Not very good. Well done. Defence by Barcelona there. As they now are on the attack to make sure they can try and bring home the Champions League, which we do not want here. Perfect tackle by Matt Hummels there. Not a foul whatsoever. Brilliant. You know, with the ball, actually, not many CDMs actually get noticed. They play really good, but Firmino has played really good 
in this game so far. I'm very impressed by him there. And I have no idea what Kareem is doing, and I'm saying that even though I'm the one playing. And how familiar face straight there from Barcelona. Robbie Firmino, person who actually helped us out to start the season. Honestly, I would say he is the reason we are here. We're not here right now, but we won the friendly. And how would a beautiful crossing by there? Do they score? He's passed! He shoots! Oh, and they've scored! We're 1-0 down in 20 minutes. This isn't good. Frankie de Jong. Well done. Anyhow, we're starting off 1-0 down here. This is a very bad situation, considering how good we have actually played in the first 20 minutes. The fact that they've just come back with an attack and managed to score. Anyhow, tried to do a through ball, but Salah did not run for that. Passing all the way back to Stegen. Um, but it's taken with the clearance that we have actually managed to get the ball, but we passed it straight to them. What are we doing? Come on, Van Dyke. I need you to be Van Dyke. Please get the ball. Yes. Okay, perfect by Trent there. Passing to Kareem Benzema. Kareem Benzema, through ball, always all the way to Mane. Mane passing it back to Pogba. To Thiago. To Trent. To Kareem. Kareem not managing to get past there. Is that a foul free though? That is a perfect question. Yes, ball. it is. We've got the free kick here. This is our chance to pull back. Okay, Van Dyke. Pogba. Benzema. On to Benzema. Crossing opportunity. Pogba. Thiago. Free ball to Pogba. Oh, no, he's missed it. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, he missed it. No. <laughs> No, that was our chance to take the lead and we have fluffed it. Lads, we have fluffed it. Just like PSG in the final this year. Awful. Just awful. And I have no idea what this guy is doing over here. You know, Sal is just trying to get into the position to tackle him. Not managing to tackle him though. Stegen with the clearance all the way to Trent. Trent has been taken out by himself basically, honestly. Um, and how they're playing some good ball play. I guarantee they're going to pass it down, which they did. That's, please say that's offside. Yeah, that is offside. So we get the offside kick. Hummels with the ball now to Fabinho, to Thiago, to Mohamed Salah, Thiago, Pogba, Robbo, back to Pogba. Oh, that's gone all the way down to Allison. Allison passing it over to Trent so we can try and get a bit of possession here. here. Thiago to Salah. I don't know if that's offside. I hope it isn't. And have Fabinho with the ball. Passes it to Pogba. Passes it to Mane. To Benzema. To Thiago. To Paul Pogba. Tried the through ball into Mane. Didn't quite work exactly. Sadly, that 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 is. Oh no 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 no. Come on, Virgil. Come on, Virgil. Matt. Matt. So what? Get the ball. Yes, Robo. Okay. Griezmann with a terrible pass there. Told you he was a flop. And now Salah to Benzema. Benzema needs help there. Pogba with the ball passes it to Mane. Oh, that, that should have been a through ball, but he didn't do the through ball. Passing the straight stick, and this has been a horrible first half. And that's a throw in for Liverpool. Liverpool fans looking very worried in this situation. Okay, they've passed it to Salah to Benzema. To Mane! Mane shoots and he's equalised! 40 minutes into the Champions League. It's 1 1. Perfect man, Mane there. Hopefully, we can bring Champions League glory into the match. Oh my god, I'm terrified for this. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Bringing back a reference to Stephen Gerrard, though, even Stephen will say put it. It's not actually, I don't Thank think it is anyway, but with, since, you know, with Liverpool, you know, we've got to, let's say that. Okay, Van Dijk with the ball, passes it to Pogba, to Mane, Mane. Kareem Benzema, to Thiago. Thiago, Thiago, no idea what he's doing. Thiago was actually linked in this career to Barcelona, he's crossed it into Benzema, Benzema scored! What a quick goal right there to make it 2-1. We've just brought back this game. Dominate possession on this mod. This is my first time playing on what difficulty we are. I can't exactly remember that. I think it might be world class. We've come back 2-1. 
Now, Benzema managing to score against a team he would usually be playing against. He obviously came from Real Madrid, who are in the same league as Barcelona La Liga. So I even saw he would usually probably be fighting for this anyway, but he, would, he's, he wouldn't be in the final because Liverpool are. But the real question is, would we be in the final if it wasn't for Karim Benzema? My suggestion is no. And how ref, blow the whistle, please. You can, yeah, okay, right. Stressful first half. It's two. Into the second half, Barcelona take kickoff 2-1 in the game right now. We have dominated possession completely, I would say. Hopefully we can dominate even more by winning two Champions League. Right, Griezmann managing to play a good ball player right there. They don't actually have Messi, which is quite surprising. I'm, I'm very surprised. I need to find out where Messi's gone after we've won the Champions League. Oh, sorry, I'm jinxing ourselves. After we've played the match of the Champions League, not necessarily winning it, but hopefully we do win it. Oh my god, this has been awful. <laughs> Okay, we're on the attack here. Pass to Pogba. Pogba's through. Oh no, they've tackled him. They've passed back to Pogba again. Pogba got to the shot and he scored. 51 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's 3 1. Pogba messing up the first chance. Salah managed to get the ball again. Passes it all the way back. To Thiago, Thiago, perfect ball play with the chemistry of his other midfielder, manages to cross it into the top bin, cross it, score into the top bin, amazing. Okay, they're on the attack here, by our old friend. Mina. Perfect defending right there. So well, I don't know why Sadio Mane was in defence, but thank God he was. He managed to pass it all the way through. Mane pasted it up. He crosses it into Karim Benzema. Karim Benzema! Head of the ball, but he's missed it. He's fuming. Bloody fuming, I tell you. Perfect header. Perfect time. Everything. Just not the accuracy that we needed there. 51 minutes. Oh, Messi is here. Oh, they've just subbed Messi on. Okay, so Messi isn't as good as apparently as he used to be compared to the people they have signed, so that's probably why. Messi on the attack, though, now. That's going to be scary, but currently on the attack as we speak is Firmino. Passes it to De Jong. To Messi. To Griezmann. Goes for the chip! He's managed to flunk it. Just like they flung the title. <laughs> But I can't say a lot to be honest. So, right, perfect ball play by Robbo there, skilling them on. What a world-class left back. A man with the ball here. He's dragged back. Passes to Thiago. Thiago with the shot, but he manages to block it. Well done by the Barca centre back there. I'm not actually sure who that was because you know I'm not really checking who that was. I don't really care who it was. I just want to win. Come on, boys. What am I doing here? This is not good. Yes. Okay. We could just delay for the next few minutes, but we're not. We're not. Okay. So. I'm very happy that Virgil van Dijk's managed to come back and completely boss this game out with us. Right. Salah with the ball. Salah's managed to lose it, though. That's not very good right there. Oh, but perfect inception by Hummels there. Passes it all the way to Kareem. Passes it back to Mane. Mane skilling, not skilling them on, sadly, because he's manages to flunk his lines. That's, that's terrible. Speaking of terrible, the defence that we're doing right now. Yes, perfect Matt Hummels. Matt Hummels with the perfect defence. Not a very good clearance of the pass. It's straight back to the Barca player. Griezmann coming in. And will he pass to Messi? Yes, he will. Will Messi be able to cross it into the box or to be able to score? They've crossed it in though. Oh, what a perfect. No! Oh, perfect save by Alison Becker right there. Can we please just tackle? It's offside. John Stones is offside.
Just made our first substitution. I accidentally skipped it. Uh, J2 is coming on instead of Kareem Benzema. Hopefully, Fabinho. he can, you know, win us the Champions Seems League like Fuller, like everyone. he can score the secure yeah, goal or something. Because we're definitely going to need someone to because we are playing horrible right now. It's any second that Barcelona will score. This is, this is a very tight and scary game. Mane. Yeah, Mane with the ball, passing it over to Jeju's. Jeju's is trying to drag back. Not a very good drag back there, though. As Barcelona have the ball once again. This is not very good right here. Panic with the ball. I'm pretty sure his name's Panic anyway. That's what we're going to call him. Busquets. Milan. Milan. You should be playing for AC Milan or Inter Milan. Just don't play for Barcelona. Frick you, Messi. You're trash. Virgil van Dijk, yes! Woo! Okay, Virgil van Dijk coming back with a perfect, perfect play here. Oh my god, passing it over to Mane. What a perfect ball. Jesus running into the box. Mane crossing it into Salah. Oh, but they've managed to clear it. Well done, clearance. Well done, Matt Hummels coming off for Joe Gomez. Them two have been an absolute beast. Screw Harry Maguire and Lindelof. Screw John Stones and Ruben Diaz. Matt Hummels and Joe Gomez all day. Hey, we've actually managed to lose the ball. This is not good. Done me out here. This isn't good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Opportunity for them to pull one back here. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referees making that. Up. He's fucked it! He's fucked it! You've heard it here, folks, everyone! Cream, it's not Cream, Griezmann is officially the worst La Liga player well, really ever. I don't care what anyone says, we're subbing off Pogba as our last substitution. That was their one chance of coming back. Surely, we can be officially called champions. So a throw in here. Slip short passing. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Well, an example of a counter attack that went nowhere. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus, excellent goalkeeping following the tip. Oh, he's read it brilliantly well. Really hard. This is it, boys. Surely, we've won. We won it. Liverpool FC on their first season won the quadruple. We've done it, everyone. The Reds winning. Joe Gomez going to be lifting the trophy. I, I, I'm thinking, anyway, I think that's what the armband is, because it said respect on it. Thank you all so much for joining me in this adventure. All, have a good day. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below if you want to see more of this. Thanks for watching. You can watch us lift the trophy. Liverpool, the victors. Now, as a player, and in this case, as a Liverpool player, you've got to prepare yourself for the trophy lift. Well, yeah, this is where you want to be the captain. Sometimes it's a hindrance because everybody's looking at you for a bit of inspiration. But you get to do this. You get to pick up this magnificent trophy and celebrate with your teammates. Liverpool this year have painted Europe red. It's official now. The kings of European club football, Liverpool. Well, certainly the red half of Liverpool and Merseyside will be celebrating tonight. Not so sure about the Everton fans, but even they might celebrate a little bit. The cup with the big ears, as it's affectionately known. And this is the moment, Derek, sharing it with the supporters. We get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands. Let them enjoy the experience with you. And the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. Well, all that hard.
hard work along the way in this tournament all comes together at the end when you pick the trophy up. Just look at them celebrating. A brilliant moment. Hard work indeed, Lee. The trophy now in their possession.